Hey everyone. hey everyone, it's back to the channel. Um, we're here with RevAmps and Mr. Dan over here who does a lot of the designs for RevAmps. Um, Dan, tell us about the history about the company, where you guys located, you guys are going international this year and whatnot, yep. right? Tell us a little about, about how right. it started, man. Well, we're six years old. We started uh, basically uh, just a, a small operation in Winnipeg. Our first year of NAM was four years ago, and so we've done four now. This is, this is number four. Um, ever since we started doing NAM, it's uh, really uh, fostered relationships that uh, allowed us to go into the international community mm -hmm. and uh, just sort of branch out from there and people just seem to uh, really dig what we're doing and so we're blessed to be here to do this and show everybody and hopefully foster new relationships and we brought some new products with us this year yeah. to, to show everybody so we're, we're awesome. pretty excited. Cool. Awesome. Tell, tell us about yeah. what you guys are doing for 2018, what's happening. Awesome. Okay. Well, with, for the uh, 2018 NAM show here, we, we've brought the uh, Rev. 100p, the Rev Generator 100p. It's the newest addition to the Rev series. Um, basically what the idea behind that app, uh, with the other three that we have, the 120 being our flagship has channel three and four. Some guys like three better than four and vice versa. Um, those that don't need a four channel app, we're asking about getting channel three built into an amplifier. With the, okay. the original 100, it sports channel four from the 120. And so you get that tone. Okay. And a lot of guys that don't need, like I say, don't need a four channel app, they, they want something like this, but they want a channel three. And we didn't have that offering. So this year we're making that happen for people. So if they want channel three from the 120, they can get it now. It's still the great clean and crunch channels. The smaller uh, style, you know, obviously less channels, right? Yeah. In that type of platform. So, so the 100P is uh, just the evolution of the generator series. Um, this one here is a little bit tighter and has a little bit more aggressive nature than the 120. Mm -hmm. So just stuff that perhaps I, I wanted to see more, you know, little improvements for, for even my personal taste, mm -hmm. I threw it into that amplifier. And so far it's been well received. Guys that own 120s that have, are here at the NAMP show have come and tried it and they're just blown away. So it's been really cool. The recession's it's been good? Great. Absolutely. And the yeah. difference between channels three and four, what would you make, what would you say that it is? Uh, Channel three is uh, a little bit more articulate than four, so it's voice to. I mean, obviously you can do rhythm guitar stuff like that, but for for me and person, my personal taste, three was always sort of my lead channel, and four being a little bit uh, larger, bottom end kind of more girth. For me, again, it was all about sort of the rhythm channel. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Guys mix and match them though, so you know it's kind of personal preference, and, and you tone it, uh, tune it up to taste. But that's the way I play it. Um, and so when you jump into Channel 4, it's just got a really heavy bottom end and you can just really feel it, whereas, you know, like I say, Channel 3 is a little bit more uh, articulate. Very punchy, though. It's probably a little bit more punchier than Channel 4. Channel 3 is my favorite channel, though. It's actually where um, the generator, generator series uh, began. And so when I first built my first prototype, it was Channel 3. Every other channel came after that one. So Channel 3... Um, being as well received as it is, yeah. it makes me excited because that's Got where it. it started, right? Exactly. Yeah, right. So right on cool. signature. That's where the yeah. generator started, or Rev? That's where the generator started. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I'm really excited about that. Cool. Tube, tube wise, what do we got going on? Yes. Tube wise, the... in the bigger heads, we have, uh, and this is what comes stock. I mean, obviously, we can do many things uh, with these heads, but they come stock with 6L6 GCs in your power section and 12AX7s in your preamp. Uh, these amplifiers are built though to take different types of tubes, so you can put KT88s in them, you can put EL34s in them, and you can mix those tubes, so if you want to run a pair of KT88s with a pair of 6L6s, you can do that. In wow. And so it increases your bottom end, and you get that KT88 low end, and that, you know, that brilliance that it offers, but that's, you still have the top that's, end. You still have the top That's yeah. bitch, and how do you tell the amp to do that, like in terms of biasing? Is there a switch in the back? Okay. Well, you, you still have to manually bias it, but in the back of our amplifiers, I've designed it so that you have test bias points. So you, all you need is a multimeter, and you can remove the back panel, stick in your tubes, and quickly bias it up. And all the te uh, bias test points are on the top of the chassis, so you don't have to take it out of the head shell to get to it. You just need a little screwdriver, and you can bias it right there on the spot. So, Dude, yeah, how convenient is that? Yeah, 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 how convenient. You're putting that's way right. more power into the player's hands, you know what I mean? Oh, you're yeah. making it super easy. That's something that's you usually right. just told it, hey, dude, send it off to the tube tech, you know what I mean? And if you're at a gig and you're too blows them and you shut it down you're done right but in this case you don't five minutes and you're done you just yeah. stick a new tube in there and bias it up quickly and you're back up and on that's i like that idea a lot dope. dude that's great yeah that's one of the things when i designed my amplifiers in the beginning it was okay you know what kind of um, things are people 
um, stuck with should you be ever you know playing in, in, a, in a bar or something and all of a sudden your tube goes down or your, your app goes down you know what could I do to improve the situation for a player and so I took a lot of data that people were you know complaining about maybe on forums or even in person to me and I calculated all that data and considered it for the amplifier and so I took all that stuff and put it in my app so now people can you know get themselves out of a pinch if they're if they're in a situation like that and still continue rocking that night right instead of going oh yeah. man I need to borrow an app from the the opening act or something. Nobody wants to do that. Stuff, yeah, right? yeah. So, so it, it makes it really easy to uh, for us to be able to provide a product that a guy can rely on night after night. I, incredibly flexible. I yeah. didn't know you guys had that yeah. to be yeah okay, awesome. to be super transparent. So I'm yeah. thinking like in terms of like imagine you're a studio guitarist and you absolutely love tube amps. You know what I mean? Yep. You just go through a load box. And you're like yep. I want to have a different sound now. It's just a matter of five minutes. You know what I mean? Like yep. and, and you're completely done. And then you're like all right, exactly. I'll go right, I'll go right back to the old setup. You know? Absolutely. And you can like start concocting your own sound because it's a different combination of tubes. Like if you wanted to, just a matter of biasing them. Oh yeah. That's so so cool, man. I mean, it changes your tone. Every every type of tube will do something different. And the generator really responds to the tubes too yeah and then feel so, and the yeah because it's, it's coming back to you yeah yeah so it, it it really opens up more tonal options for you as well so yeah exactly that that is so great. cool dude that's rad that's super cool yeah and is that kind of the same configuration for for both say the 100 and the 120 yes as well? yeah. yeah so the big heads they all run that same configuration but the little head is our 40 watt version of the generator series so it's a, obviously got less um, less bang like the bigger heads have two uh, master volumes, whereas the little guy doesn't. And the little guy, it runs six V6 GT tubes in the power section, um, which cannot be configured like the big heads, though. Okay. Yeah, just because it's uh, 40 watts only, right? So right. I don't want to put a quad of 6L6s in there and have somebody try and get <laughs> just, more than yeah. 40 watts on and it. Yeah, and then you look yeah, like the jerk, you know? Yeah. yeah I'm like, like, hey, oh, this is not supposed to do it. Oh. Yeah. So these tubes are recommended stock to remain that way, but the big heads are, you know, Right out of the gate, you can do whatever you want. This look great. I love the white. Toilet. Yeah, like this, this is such the, uh, a classic. This is new, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah, this, this is, is our, cool. our new logo and everything. Um, and a guy can get this type of thing in the 120 if you wanted. You know, so we, we, we give people the option of the look they want on the front of their amplifier as well. That is amazing. Yeah. Cool. Um, and these are, am I correct me if I'm wrong, MIDI switchable? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, so you can you can control them with MIDI, CC commands. Our foot controllers are intelligent as well. So I'll, I'll give you kind of a demo here of what I mean sure. by that. So there's two different modes to the foot controller. Uh, when you fire it up, you're in what I call function mode, okay. which allows you to switch your channels, you know, run through your aggression levels, switch your Super effects cool. loop, uh, turn on your masters. By holding this button, you can throw it into mute. But if you hold button number one, it goes into what I call preset mode. So now I could take, let's say, consider it now like uh, a MIDI patch bay. Okay. okay, so if I want to save a particular setting to button one, let's say I want to go to channel two uh, with no fat, maybe, you know, blue aggression and master volume wow. number two on, yeah. it'll flash asking people want to confirm that Ooh. setting. So I punch it, go over to another setting, let's say, come back, boom. Dude. It recalls does, the setting. Does it awesome. also save the EQ settings too, or is it just like the settings of where you're sitting? Just anything that's uh, you can control with a toggle switch. Okay. All the knobs, they, they're still analog, so you need to move them by hand. But all the functions that you can control with the toggle switches make such a huge change in your tone that just even manipulating you know, the fat and the braid um, gives you another tonal option. So you can save that's that. Cool. And it just, it just noticed that you changed something too, so it's asking yep. if you, you want to save, exactly. save it. Yeah. And then it'll go, yep, go away come back boom so you know save the, and obviously with the 120 foot switch you have six rows mm -hmm. um, and there is much more to, to deal with here so you can oh combine God. all that stuff that is so cool and then with the two channel amps you get four it's plus great. if you're controlling it with MIDI mm -hmm. the foot controller still responds to the amplifier and it's oh wow so yeah, it's still so kind of telling you what's going change. on yeah. yep. so if you're on stage and you know you're running a computer to control your amplifier but Let's say you're just sitting there and you want to maybe do a solo that you don't normally do, yeah. and you, oh, you still got to control your app. Yeah. It's all good, right? Oh, that's, yeah. that's amazing functionality. Also, you mentioned the aggression switch. Yep. What's, um, what's going on behind Yeah, there? what's going on there? <laughs> <laughs> so with the gain setting of this amplifier, one thing I didn't want was a gain knob that really only came to like 10, 11 o'clock, and then after that was useless, right? Yeah. There's a lot of amplifiers that have that problem. Yep. So for me, I designed the amplifier to have a usable gain all the way from start to finish, and everything in between. But in order to pop up the aggression, the aggression level, 
um, let's say, the amount of gain and a, a tighter, uh, maybe full bottom end, depending on what setting you're at. Mm -hmm. You just find your aggression setting to taste. Yeah, I'm just gonna take that out of preset mode. So let's say um, aggression off. Obviously, this would be our low, lowest aggression setting, so you'd have a little bit less gain, kind of real tight uh, bottom end. As you work your way up, you introduce a little bit more gain, a little bit more bottom end. When you get to red, obviously it's very aggressive. You know, it's still very tight in the bottom end, but you have more of it, so it's a, it's a larger push, yeah. a bigger pump. But you can still use the entire range. You have like just as much gain as you could ever need, or as little, depending yeah. on where you're at, right? That's super expensive. And and like it also kind of, for a lot of players, right, that would eliminate the, the use of, say, boost, say a boost, boost or front. something like yeah. that, unless it was like crucial to whatever they were doing anyway. Yeah, right? like, I mean, I would still maybe, you know, experiment with going to channel two or channel one crunch, and mm -hmm. maybe putting a boost in there, maybe to find a different tone on yeah. it. But when you come to channel two, like there's no- You got everything you need. You have everything. Like it's, it's so much gain that, there's just no reason to put something else yeah. in front of it, right? Unless you just like pedals and you want to carry them around. Hey, yeah, I mean, it, yeah, it's each throw, but, but still. But yeah, I would, I would, I would eliminate my pedals because of all that. Wow. Yeah. That thing's cool. I'm, I'm still like, dude, there's a lot of stuff to take in for that. It is. It's, it, uh, there's a lot of options, and, and guys that are new to the rev stuff, you know, once they've spent five or ten minutes with the amplifier, they, they then realize just how intuitive it really is. It's very easy, user friendly. It's just knowing how the functions work. Once you do, it's so easy. Yeah. And, and when we when we send this into preset mode, how many presets do we have? Are we allowed all four, or is it still acting as a engage the effects loop? In preset mode, you get all four. Okay. Wow. That's oh, awesome. You Very got. Cool. And then I mean, if you want to go back and switch your effects loop, it's boom. You just switch the modes. Yeah. That's it. So you can still work with it quick enough. It's a two second delay, and then boom, you're doing whatever you need to do. So switching between uh, the preset and function mode, I mean, it can be done, right? You just gotta get used to it as you, as part of your routine. Just and, like anything, yeah. Yeah, and so, it becomes super convenient. So I'm, I'm seeing this as a crunch channel or clean channel, and then channel two is technically two channels, but we have presets, you can create four presets, you can have one clean, one crunch, and so right, Yeah, and yeah so. exactly that, exactly that. So I mean, channel one does have clean and crunch, but they do share the EQ, but I mean, it becomes almost like a six channel app if you start to include how the aggression settings work. All right. Um, and if you were to have a boost or something in front of for the crunch, I mean, that just opens it up again, right? Yeah. So, so pedals, it's very pedal friendly too. Um, so anything you do put in front of it, it, it's well received by the amplifier and really creates another uh, Another preamp if you if you're gonna run a dirt channel especially that, that is right. So. And what uh what are these retailing for? Uh... These guys here are two thousand ninety nine. Mm -hmm. um, the one twenty is twenty six ninety nine, and the seven forty is seventeen ninety nine. And then the one hundred is the same as the new one hundred P. Got it. Awesome. And then another thing we're releasing this year is dirt pedals. So it's our first dirt pedal. It's Look based that. after the generator series based after channel three. Your favorite. Together, my yeah. favorite. Mm -hmm. I figured, you know what? I started the whole project with channel three in the amplifier world. We're going to start it in the pedal world as well. That so cool. This has got to be exciting for you. It mm -hmm. really is. That's Absolutely. cool, man. Yeah. It, like right where it all started. Right where it all right. started. It's just full a, circle, different, man. Uh, a different market, right? Yeah. And so I'm really excited about it. It sounds just fantastic. All the guys that have played it so far that we've introduced it to here at NAM have just been blown away by it. It also features the aggression setting, so you can start off in the off position, the blue and the red, just like the generator series. It has a uh, treble middle ba uh, bass EQ, the gain and the volume, and uh, the top mount jacks. That's always really so nice, especially you can, when you're wired. This is cool. Yeah. So you can and cram pedals together and exactly. not have to worry about you know lost space from chords or anything like that. Mm -hmm. It just comes out. Got it. And because it's modeled after that, that channel three, it's going to have the same uh, dynamic range in the gain. Absolutely. That's awesome. Yeah. That's cool. I love that in pedals. It's it's actually very, very similar to the to the G3 or the channel 3 on the amplifier. So much so that I've had guys come in and try both and just go, wow, that's amazing how close you got. Yeah. Wow. I love and, that. Uh, and it's all up amp. There's no tubes inside there. So uh, when I went with the dirt pedal, it was uh, just for the convenience of having it in a small box too, right? That's cool. That way there's, there's really no space on your pedal board, but you get a just tremendous tone out of it. So, yeah, it's, so, it's, so yeah. it's so articulate and punchy. It's just like the amplifier. Cool. Yeah. So yeah, that's our offerings uh, this year, and uh, we're pretty excited. I do have a plan to release uh, a Channel 4 version and a Channel 2 version as well in the coming months this year. Very so cool. So there'll be three uh, dirt pedals based off the Generator 120. 
and that'll be uh, the beginning of our, our pedal our pedal market Excursion. and offerings. That's cool, man. Yeah. That's super cool. You guys yeah. got to be excited. I know. Very, I know. Yeah, I am. That's a great year. That's yeah, flipping that's badass. Really cool. It's gonna be a great year, I it's think. Yeah. Cool. Anything else you want to plug? Shout out. Um, I think that's it, man. It's uh, you know, it's. Oh, you know what? There is uh, one more thing. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with our Dynamis version. Of oh yes, yeah, yeah. yes, actually. I saw it behind me earlier. Okay, yeah. Oh. So the Dynamis is a completely different uh, amplifier series. These amplifiers are based more for hard rock, jazz, blues, country, that kind of thing. So these amps still have the great articulation and touch. Um, they're a little bit more bass heavy because they the the wattage selector switches, so you can go from 7 to 40 on each channel. You get that natural compression there at Ooh. 7 watts, yep. man. Nice, Absolutely. That nice boost because you're Bring driving tubes. And Love that's it. another thing I, I guess I forgot to mention about that is uh, each of the, the amps that I build has um, a wattage selector switch. So. On the generators, like the 120 watt, you can go from 120 down to 10, but wow. still use that um, as a tone option. Because when you bring it down, you can then dime your level and even get the clean channel to break up, and it, it just introduces something else to play with. So it's really cool. That is really and cool. so the Dynamis does the same thing, and it sounds really good. And what I've done here that's a little bit different is I've given each channel its own reverb, but I've also introduced a decay. So there's three levels of decay. You can set your reverb to have just a, a light decay or a very long decay and, and set them independent of one another. So you don't have to select one style reverb on one channel and get stuck with it for the other one. You can change it up all, all the way you want. It's and, like the smart switching. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Mm -hmm. And it's all MIDI controlled as well. Um, and the foot switch is our, a six button foot switch. It allows you to switch the reverb on and off, switch between the, re the decays. There's a solo boost for it. Um, uh, the aggression idea is still built into these apps. I call it dynamic, and there's three levels, just for channel two. Of course. Okay. So you can go from just a light crunch to hard rock uh, at the foot to push of a button. That's great, great man. Yeah, I, I awesome. love this 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 like color scheme. It looks so classy. Absolutely. Exactly. No, it's so cool, and I love these caps too. It's kind of where we came up with the new uh, logo idea for the Dynamis. We wanted something that uh, maybe wasn't as sharp as what the generators have in the acrylics. Mm -hmm. um, and it was really well received that we thought, well, we'll introduce it as an option for people and they can select kind of what, what they want. Oh, yeah, I love a whole it. level, a yeah. whole other level of yeah. class. Yeah. Like minimalist and yeah. classic, yep. simple, and it gets, it's, it, it's bold too. Absolutely, it, yeah. simple and bold, and it's yeah. great. So. And is this also offered in, is that is that the combo version of it? Yep, yep, yeah. this is a combo, the combo version of it. Mm -hmm. and so the Dynamis is the only combo um, that we offer. We don't offer a generator series yet. But, uh, Combo, but we're kind of considering maybe a 740 in the generator line for a combo. Cool. So you can get that in a two, 210 or a 112 and, or in a head saw. Yeah, that's cool, man. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, so we got right tons on. tons to offer people and uh, support. Again, the Dynamis 2 has been really well received. And this is like the like that you have a huge dynamic range with, with this. Like, obviously, you got your high gain and your mid range gain, and then you have your slightly less gain, a little different, different, um, different idiom. Yep. For, yeah, you know, absolutely. For like better words. Yeah, different voicing too, and uh, I mean, it's still you can still tell it sounds like a rev. Um, it is based off slightly off the generators, but uh, like I say, it was more for country and stuff like that. So I, I really wanted to make sure that you know, if a guy was running a telly, that he had the the full body that he would come to expect out of um, an amplifier that offered that type of sound. So I feel I nailed it, and it sounds great. It's been well received as well. It was our offering from last year, and uh, still a very very popular amplifier. Great. Yeah, that's awesome. Cool. Well, my man, thank you so much, yeah. Dan. My pleasure. We appreciate your time. You, you gave us so much so insight much. into what's coming up for Rev, and you guys got to be excited. You got your Channel 3 in a pedal form yep. now. so It's going to be very cool. Yeah, yeah you guys are international. Yep. You guys are going yep. big, man. It's going really, really well. Yeah, right on. Excited. Congratulations. Thank you. That's it. That's all we got for Rev. Huge thanks to Dan and Rev, everyone at Rev, Ryan, Paul. We met a couple guys out there. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. Cool. Later. Bye.